consider this equation. Can you find integer solutions to this? Pause the video and give it a try. We note that the left hand side is divisible by 7 irrespective of a, but the right hand side is never. These kind of equations are called Diophantine equations and we often use similar methods of taking module or some number to check if the equation has a solution at all. Now can this method be used to prove Fermat's last theorem for some k um, using some modulo p? The answer is no, we can't. It's a fun fact that for any natural number k, there exists a natural number n such that there exist natural number solutions for this equation modulo p where p is a prime greater than n. What's more interesting is its relation with graph theory. The idea is to think about coloring of graphs. Suppose we have a certain number of colors and a natural number k. Then there exists a natural number n such that an n-complete graph will have a clique of size k. In other words, a monochromatic k-complete subgraph. This theorem forms a foundation for another amazing theorem. That theorem states that if you take a certain number of colors, then we will get a number n such that if we color the numbers using these colors, we will get three numbers of the same color where two add up to give the third, also called Schur's theorem. So how can we combine all these ideas to frame our desired result? Let's take the number n which we will get according to Schur's theorem for k colors. Now consider a prime p which is greater than n and take the set of numbers 1 to p minus 1 which simply is the set of remainders we get upon dividing a number with p. Note that this is a group which is cyclic. Now a group which is cyclic. Therefore, it must have a generator which generates all the elements. Let's call it G. Now, if we consider any element A in this set, we can represent it like this. But we will use this representation. Now, depending on this, JA, we will color the numbers. Note that JA lies between 0 and K. Therefore, there are k different possibilities for j a, hence we can color the numbers with k colors. According to score, we will have three numbers which are monochromatic and two of them add up to give the third. Multiplying both sides with multiplicative inverse of g to the power j and hence this.